story of a young woman named M. When we meet her, she's in a state of depression. Um, and over the course of uh, the play, well, she decides in order to launch herself out of the state of depression that she is going to undertake um, learning how to rock climb professionally. <laughs> I knew I wanted to write a play about rock climbing um, because it's a passion of mine and, I, and it's really physical and it's really hard to translate to the stage and I thought how magical that would be to have to create um, imaginative, resourceful, theatrical ways of representing climbing on stage. Yes, often when I was climbing I would be thinking about like what can I take from this, um, what goes into the play oh, this is really exciting, this moment, let me see how I can work that in. It's the fact that it is a solo activity, it's uh, really about the challenge of you and your, your own abilities, and so it's not a team sport um, in that way, but, uh, but it requires another person um, to be your belayer or your supporter. And so I think there's something incredibly moving and poignant about the fact that there is this intense sport that takes an individual to the like absolute limits of their ability physically and mentally um, while requiring another person being there to keep them safe, um, to keep their rope, uh, um, to give feedback and support, to cheerlead, um, and then you take turns and then you switch and you support the other person. and, and um, there's something so human bonding about that, and it's, it's also literally um, your life is in someone else's hands. I feel like on this end of the spectrum, there's incredibly literal rock climbing, um, and on this end of the spectrum, there's something that's much more representational. Um, and uh, or evocative of the kind of movements of climbing which have a very specific quality of movement to them um, and I feel like it can go anywhere in between um, and it, both the movement of it uh, and the choreography of it as well as um, the space the set how it gets played um, how literally or non-literally you create things to, to climb on um, I feel like what's important is that you watch people climbing, not that you watch people climbing uh, indoor holds in an indoor gym that look like this, like that we all relate to an indoor gym. Um, I find it much more exciting if it's theatrically evoked um, or, or, yeah, somewhere in between. No, uh, we relate. <laughs> um, I can see all sorts of similarities, um, but I don't think she is. I don't think I've ever written me. That's not true. There is one play in which the character is the is Lauren Feldman, and so then that was a version of me. Um, but that's it. Um, I I can see myself in a lot of my characters, and I can see myself a lot in certain characters in particular. And so, absolutely, there are, there are ways in which M feels close to me. But um, there's all sorts of differences between us. Um, factually and also personality-wise. I feel, I guess, also that um, both in conversations with my dramaturg Liz and also just as a whole in this experience that uh, I can notice how my play is getting stronger and I can also observe how I am becoming a stronger playwright over the course of this overall and how there are questions and answers and notes that I am filing away to apply to things moving forward that are not related to grace or the art of climbing. Um, and that feels really valuable too.